Yo! Hello everybody, welcome back to the Beep2Bot channel, the only place where you can get stupid videos by a stupid guy. God, that felt good to say. <laughs> I tried recording this video once, but uh, I didn't like the way I was saying things. That version of that video will never see the light of day. It will be stuck in the bank. The Beep2Bot bank for all of eternity. I was saying how this week, this year was quiet when that's just not true. There were lots of growth this year. Lots and lots and lots of growth. Everything from my first full-time job to still managing to pump out a few YouTube videos. And my girlfriend is amazing. <clears throat> <sighs> While there were a lot accomplished this year, I do need to work on a few things. And you know me, I like, you know, I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, the new year doesn't mean anything. It's just the same old, same old. It's just another day type thing. I'm not really like that. I don't really see it that way. I like doing everything as like a playlist and I see every year as a sort of playlist in its own way. And um, it's like a new chapter almost. And, but I do also believe new year, new me is bullshit. I, I, I do agree with that, but I don't agree with, it's just the same old day, you know? It's never too late to change something about yourself. You know, you don't need the new year to uh, to change whatever you want. I do need to get better at reaching out, collaborate, and work with my other friends and other YouTubers, like Mr. Mustard, Balloon Beats, and all that, all that good stuff. And I just kind of wanted to revise how this year was, what I did this year, and what we've all been through this year on this channel. I got Ryan Carveo's autograph. That was amazing. That was a very unexpected surprise, and I really love that. I still look at it every day. Whenever I'm sad, I just open my drawer right here and look at the autograph and I'm like, yeah, I got this. We got this. It's gonna be a good day today. And also, burnout really set in this year. There was a, a good solid few months where I was absent, absolutely absent. Burnout really set in. And this is where I really, really started to feel it. And I still feel it every now and then, um, kind of wild. This year was also a big deal because I made seven years on YouTube. This could be argued many, many ways, many ways, because some may say that I didn't even participate in YouTube on the seventh year, but that's just not true either. Because I, I was busy this year. This year was crazy. The movie I was in came out, 57 seconds. It was finally released, and uh, that was a really cool surprise for a lot of you, I bet, because I didn't talk about it with anybody. Hardly anybody, at least. That's the movie with Morgan Freeman and Josh Hutcherson. I still love Josh Hutcherson. <laughs> but yeah, 57 Seconds was really epic. Um, I really want to do a movie review on that. It was really cool. It was really cool. I'm glad I got to experience it and uh, see all the big cameras in person. And I'm so happy that I stuck to my guns and didn't record anything on set take pictures, like how people snuck in taking pictures on set when they weren't supposed to. And I'm so happy that I didn't do that and also got the clearest view, like the clearest shot on me as an extra in that movie. That is a huge flex and major mic drop. Shoo! And this year I really thought about doing 365 days of YouTube. I really thought about it. Really, really, really and truly. I think I will do it one day, but I'll do it in a way that you aren't expecting. So that's what I always like, right? 7, 10, 30. A lot of people thought 60 was going to be next or 100. No, I went, I went left when we thought I was going right. I did four more than 100, 104. A lot of people are expecting 365 to be next. Well, you're probably right, but I'll do it in a way that you aren't expecting. You never know my next move, and that's the way I want to keep it. I'm beep sweet bop, bitch. I also made Roast Me 3 and YouTube Hunger Games 4. Two really amazing videos that I'm so proud of, and that I still kind of watch to this day. I'm really satisfied with how those videos turned out. And to top it all off, Ryan Carveo's Trouble in Paradise album came out. Brand new Ryan album released, dropped it. He dropped it, bro. He, he dropped it, man. He dropped it. He really did. It was amazing. And um, I still have yet to record that 
video of me reacting to it. I think I'll just get to it on my own time. I'm not gonna rush it, dude. But um, I really wanna take clips of my reaction from the stream and upload it as a video. You know, more views than that, but <laughs> whatever. I don't really care about views. You'll see that later in this video. Reflecting on how eventful this year actually was, even though I didn't post much. I don't know. Like I was saying, I, I just, I was originally thinking that this year was really quiet, but on my way home from like a New Year's party at my girlfriend's house, uh, I was really reflecting on how eventful this year actually was instead of it being more quiet than, instead of it being quiet. I don't know if I said that right. I was expecting on, I was, I was reflecting on how eventful, I was reflecting on how eventful this year actually was rather than it being more quiet. Yeah, that, that's it. I'm just really thankful to all of you who are still around and who still care to keep up with me after all these years or whenever you found me and if you're still sticking around. Just the fact that you want to catch up with me and my adventures that I go on, it means everything to me. And it's funny because so much of this year was my job and being tired from it and not much of YouTube. And when I was tired, I just wanted to hang out with Maggie, my girlfriend. So yeah. Sorry, I haven't uploaded much. I hate when YouTubers that I like just all of a sudden stop uploading out of nowhere. I just wanted to be clear that I love and respect what you and I have going on here, what we have. <laughs> and I also want you to know that I still think about making videos every day. I still love, absolutely adore the creative process. And, and I still make efforts to be creative, throw around ideas every day. I just, most importantly, I just don't want it to be something that I have to force myself to do. I love being where I am, especially the fact that we hit 1,000 subscribers. And going into 2024, I officially don't care about the numbers, even though I'm happy where I am, you know. I'm officially not going to care or have anything revolve around numbers, right? I already have to think about numbers all day at my job, have, being a salesman and keeping up a quota every single day. So if that's not proof enough, for you, I don't know what the hell is. Damn quota. Seriously, I think about numbers every day. I just really loved this year. I beyond, beyond loved this year. It was so meaningful. I grew so much. And I, th I thought I couldn't grow more. I honestly thought I was like at my peak. I was the sharpest I've ever been because of 104. But um, the break that I took cleared my mind and the new full-time job my first full-time job really like I developed so many skills I've learned so much already and I can't wait to work there for the rest of my entire life I love helping people especially with with the shoes um, I just hope that something in the universe allows me to keep the job that I have because I love it. Um, it it means so much to me but I know that I can, you know, the beeps we bought magic that I put into this channel, the effort, the hard work, the tears, the blood, the sweat, more tears. I know I can do it because I proved it on here. And just know that I am making everyone proud. I'm trying to make everyone proud and I'm gonna make y'all proud because I'm going to do the best I can at this job just to be able to keep on keeping on. I'm gonna make you guys proud because I'm gonna do well I'm gonna use that beef to pop magic over here at my job and we're gonna be successful as shit. But 104 was my attempt. It didn't work to the degree that I needed it to, so I got a job and that was the deal that I made with myself. I made that deal, I'm like, if this doesn't work, we're gonna get something steady so we can take our time with it. Nothing on this planet means more to me than the effort that I put into everything by myself. Nothing means more to me than my own effort I put into everything. And a couple video ideas, a couple videos that I'm doing this year. We all know that the in the 2022 was so awesome video that I had said that I'd do so many things, but especially the gym stuff. 
didn't do shit about that, but hopefully this goes well this year. <laughs> if I can have check boxes I, uh, that I, <laughs> of things that I did and didn't do for in 2023 that I said I'd do from 2022 into 2023, that'd be funny. Banana Bread, the new series. Camping, vlogs, songs, videos like I did this year. Challenges, collabs, videos with my girlfriend Maggie, and some games. I'm thinking about doing, finishing Outlast and Undertale. So like live streamy kind of games, just to be chill. Um, yeah, that's about it. I really love this year. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it all. It was great. It was a great ride. It was awesome. Thank you so much. I know I didn't upload much, but I already explained and stuff. I'm forever grateful for everything. You guys are awesome. Have a blessed day. Stay blessed, all right? Wish me luck. I'm going to need it, okay? I want to keep this job for real. Magic fingers, facts in the chat, smash like for good luck. The more likes y'all get me on this video, the more subscribers you guys get on this video, the more luck I'll get for this next year. And the more luck y'all will get this next year. That's how it works. The luck uh, cycles around and it one like splits between the two of us or three of us, however many people you guys are. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> That's the only time I'm asking about numbers. <laughs> I don't know. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Beep Tweetbot.